So there's what fried raccoon looks like. <sighs> I'm not sure about this, Houston. So what's up guys? We're back with another video. <laughs> another. Another. Another video. Another video. It's tough to talk without those front teeth, isn't it, Houston? Yeah. We are back with another video. And this is part three of... No, part two of resetting the traps. So we're going to go check our coon traps this morning and see what we've caught. It's nice and cool this morning here in Oklahoma. But I've got a friend coming over, my neighbor. Um, so if you've been a subscriber for a long time, you go back about a year, we set up a huge hog trap on our property to catch wild hogs. They're feral pigs. They're very destructive. And if you've been watching our videos lately, you've seen on the trail camera videos that the pigs are starting to show up at night. And uh, everyone said we need to do some hog hunting. Well, the problem is, is they're not on our property until about 2 to 4 a.m. And uh, we're, this guy can't hang that late, so <laughs> I'm going to blame it on him. I'm not going out and hunting pigs at 2 o'clock in the morning. They're just passing through our property, though. Uh, one neighbor is solid timber. They go across our property to another neighbor that's got a lot of cows and a bunch of uh, automatic feeders for their cows. They're uh, creep feeders for their calves and stuff. So the pigs are just, they're feral. They're not supposed to be here. They're bad for the environment. They're destructive for everything. So anyways, we're going to have our neighbor bring his big, huge hog trap back over. And we're going to set it up today. But in the meantime, while we're waiting on him, Houston wants to go check our raccoon traps. Yeah. What'd you say, Houston? No crying or anything today. Gemma, get back. Gemma, get back. Oh, buddy. We got a raccoon. We're even good tonight. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah. Have you ever eaten a raccoon? No. I haven't either. Okay, we have even more better news. We have set a trap over there, and we have caught another one. Over by the falls? Yep. Well, let's go see what you got over there. Jimma! It's the winter time. It's going to be cold in the winter. Do what? I said I knew this day was going to be calm today. Gemma's hiding behind you, buddy. She's scared. What is Gemma? What is it? Well, our neighbor showed up before we could get all of our raccoon traps checked. So we're going to go ahead and stop and uh, let him follow us over here and set this uh, Jaeger Pro hog trap up. And then, then we'll get back to our uh, raccoon video. What'd you say? This is so fun. First, we're catching, we're catching raccoons and we're eating them. Second, we're setting up a hog trap and we're gonna butcher them. Think we can eat a hog if we catch one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, why do you need the corn? To bait them in. 
How am I supposed to get you in the trap? You like corn, don't you? No. I'm gonna bait the trap with some normal, easy corn like we use deer corn. So yeah. You want some outside too? Yeah. None? No, so this is the guy that brought this deal. What's your name? Josh. What? Josh. Josh? Awesome. Yeah, if you put a brake in the center of this, it will just slide right down. So the pig trap is set up. We'll probably be getting pictures in the next few nights. So the way this trap system is, is built and designed, it's made by a company called Jaeger Pro. And actually Josh only bought the gate part and the control box then he built all the panels to go with it you can make it as big as you want to but the bigger you make it the more comfortable the pigs are about going in and there's not actually a trip wire or a automatic or a, a a rope to cause the gate to close or anything it's all done off of his cell phone so there's a trail camera set up on the other side and it sends instant pictures to his phone and he can watch and uh after you know you, at first you'll have one or two pigs go in and then the rest of them will be out here they're they're pretty smart little animals but once all the pigs go in, then he can hit a button on his cell phone and drop the gate. So he, he added my number to the, the picture list so we can see when the, when the pigs start coming in. But they're only coming in between about 2 and 4 in the morning, as I said earlier. So maybe we'll get lucky in the next couple of nights. It may take a few weeks. Who knows? But these pigs are uh, they're spreading. I'll go show you the damage they've been doing the last few nights. You can see they cause a lot of damage. They're not a natural animal in the habitat around here. They're a feral animal, so it's always good to remove them out of the uh, out of the mix. But anyways, back to the raccoon catch, clean, and cook. Yes. We gotta go check a couple more traps and then uh, get to the house and clean us up a raccoon. We caught one. Not. No. The live trap's empty. Yep. Nothing in that one. So we made it back to the house and it's time for the cleaning part of the catch, clean, and cook. Catch, clean, and cook. But uh, I decided probably don't want to bring you guys on the gruesome side of the cleaning of a raccoon. But it's much like a deer. You hang him upside down, cut the skin around the feet, and just peel the hide off. And just to prove that we are, we did clean and we are going to cook and eat a raccoon. Here's the hide off of one of our raccoons. Um, yeah it's just like you peel it off it's like a sock turn it upside turn it inside out so kind of what you end up with the head all the way down if we were gonna if we were gonna keep the fur this is what you would need to do except we'd have to flip it back inside out and flesh it and that's because raccoons are they're just fat they have so much fat on them you have to get all the fat and the meat off of the hide before you would roll it up and store it um for your fur buyer now we're not going to sell the fur i wish they were worth a lot more these days raccoon hides are just not worth really they're not worth saving to sell as a fur but maybe if we get a good nice really big healthy boar which is a male raccoon we may save one and send it off and have it tanned for houston but uh, i did save him one souvenir now this may be something that <laughs> that most people aren't familiar with on a raccoon but on a male raccoon, they have a souvenir. Some people call them Texas toothpicks. Some people, you just, old timers did a lot of different things with these. And it's only on the male raccoon. You see that bone comes out of the, uh, the male parts of a raccoon. Yeah, who knew they really had a bone in there. But uh, some of the old timers would save these and sharpen the end of it and make a toothpick or drill a hole and use it as a keychain so because that part could hang in the pocket right there uh i don't know what we'll do with it but we'll get it cleaned up make it nice and pretty and white and uh, save it for houston a souvenir so 
I cut a lot of the meat off the bones. We're not gonna do like a whole raccoon. I'm not worried about, I'm not trying to make a big stew. We just wanna do a taste test. So I got a bowl full of, took the back straps, some of the big muscles on the hind quarters off and Easter and I are gonna, I think we're just gonna chop it up into chunks and fry it. So fried raccoon, here we come, I guess. Oh, it is bright in here. You guys thought I was gonna do this outside, didn't you? You didn't think I would be doing a raccoon catch, clean and cook in my wife's brand new kitchen. Well, you were wrong because we're doing this in my wife's kitchen. So nothing fancy. We just chunked up a bunch of chunks of raccoon and we're gonna run it through an egg wash. I mean, literally nothing fancy. Egg wash, flour, oil. Then Houston eats it. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel so weird. Feels so weird, huh? Oh my gosh. Alright, go into the egg. Roll it around in there. Now go to the flour. We'll probably do it twice, okay? Get it coated in flour. Now go back in the egg. Be sure you get plenty on your fingers, alright? Then drop it in easy, okay? Set it in there. All right, buddy, you're frying raccoon now. Oh, that was quick. Oh, it don't take long. We got little bitty chunks. Come on, get them in there quick. Hey, you can go back to the flour. Ooh, sorry. So there's what fried raccoon looks like. <sighs> I'm not sure about this, Houston. Is it gonna be any good? Yes. All right. What were you gonna say before I interrupted you? Um, I forgot. He forgot. So we got our raccoon all fried up. It, it may be just a little bit past done because I, I just thought it was safer to go more well done than less done. So we're going to try it first without any ketchup, without anything, any okay. kind of sauce. I'm so excited. You go first. <laughs> no, we'll go at yes. the same time. No, just go first. Okay, you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. There we go. It's pretty good to me. We're doing it again tomorrow. I guess that means he likes it. What's it taste like to you? Just like, it kind of like, tastes like deer meat, kind of. It does taste kind of like deer meat. So now we did batter this, season it with a little Cajun seasoning in the, in the flour mixture. As you can tell, Houston thinks it may be just a little bit chewy. The meat's a little bit stringy, but I tell you what, it doesn't taste gamey at all. It doesn't taste like a wild. Um, a lot of times, deer will taste gamey to people. Hmm. We're gonna have to dig in and try some more. I'm gonna try it with a little Oklahoma steak sauce right here. Ketchup, only organic kind though. My wife buys organic ketchup, you know, because we're just that kind of people. Let's see, it is very chewy. I will say that. So uh, if you fry a raccoon up, cut it into bite-sized pieces. What are your final thoughts on it? This is the best thing I've ever had out of meat. What? You think that bait tastes better than, than a steak off of Crazy Eyes the Heifer? Or yes. one of her big juicy hamburgers? Yes. I don't know about that. but. It's pretty darn tasty. Like, I am not at all dissatisfied with the flavor. It's actually uh, shockingly good. What do you think? It is actually pretty good, though. It is. So, Mom and Emily aren't here. Weston's off working right now. But the last thing Emily said before she left was, be sure to save me some raccoon, because I want to try it too, so... We're gonna save a few pieces 
I doubt we can get mom to try it when she gets home, but we'll definitely get Emily to try it. Uh-huh. If uh, Houston will save any. Well, we got a couple of fresh taste testers here. Emily showed back up and look who else we got. <coughs> Jacoby's here. And they're gonna taste our freshly fried raccoon. I say fresh, it, it's it a couple hours ago, but we reheated it, so. Emily, give her a try. They still shooting up there? It's kind of tough, just eat the whole piece. Pretty good. Tastes like just meat. Tastes <laughs> like meat. All right, Kobe, you give us an official taste test. You want to dip in a little ketchup? Quit. What do you think, man? Good. Does it taste like every other raccoon you've ever eaten? How many have you eaten? One. Just this one? <laughs> um, Emily, if I gave that to you and I didn't tell you what it was, would you think it was a raccoon? Mm -mm. Does it smell bad? Taste bad? Nope. Pretty good. All right, so that's four people that have tried this thing. Mom's in the house and she refuses. She won't try it, so. <sighs> oh well. But I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm not kidding, guys. Like this taste test. Crash in the background. This taste test you. went like a hundred no. times better than I expected. Get off. Get off. I really thought that that raccoon was gonna taste like it smells, like a, like a uh, freshly Get killed off. raccoon smells. The, go, 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 go. It's not a pleasant odor. Raccoons have a very strong smell, but the meat, I'm telling you, cooked up really well. I was, I'm impressed. Emily, what did you think it tastes like? Just. Would you compare it to any other kind of animal you've ever eaten? Kind of like a deer, but not as strong. I didn't coach her to say that at all, I promise. That's exactly what I said. It tastes kind of like deer meat, but it's not gamey tasting at all. There's no gamey flavor to it whatsoever. Yeah. So, hey, Houston had a great idea on this raccoon catch, clean, and cook. I'm, it I'm was impressed. Your idea. Well, you've been on me about it every day, every day, every day, every day. So, all right. Well, fellas. <coughs> oh, shoot. You want to wrap so this guys, video up? So guys, thanks for hang watching. on, hang on, hang on. I think I heard Kobe back there. Was Kobe talking or was that Emily? Me. Oh. You want to end this video, Emma? I will. Kobe okay. wants to. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Peace.